So in this video, we will learn how to sell digital downloads with Cash Free and Google Drive. Now suppose guys, you are selling some kind of online course file and you are using Cash Free as a payment method to collect the payment. So using this automation, whenever you will receive a payment on your Cash Free account, automatically the course file will be shared from your Google Drive to the customer who actually made the payment. Yes guys, automatically, this is a complete automation. Now guys, how you can set up this automation for your business? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get the free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. Now guys, here after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. Now here guys, I would like to name my workflow as cash free to Google Drive. Cash free to Google Drive. And then we will just click on create over here. Now we can see that a workflow is open. And now in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea over here is first, we have to get the details or the data of payments which we receive on cash free inside Babli Connect. So first, we are going to connect our cash free account with Babli Connect and get the new payment details inside our Babli Connect workflow. And after that, we was using Public Connect, we will send those details to Google Drive and we will set up this automation that whenever we receive a payment in cash free from Google Drive, automatically a file will be shared to the user's email address which they have entered while making the payment. So let's begin. So here in trigger window in choose app, let's search for cash free. Select cash free over here. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, here you can see there are several different trigger events like payments, refunds, settlements, settlement related trigger events, and then you have the payment via link or payment via form. So in which format you are collecting payments from your customers, you have to select that. For example, I will be selecting payment via forms because I've created a payment form in cash free and using that form, I'm getting the payments from the users. So that's why I've selected payment via form. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we are going to use this webhook URL to make the connection between Cash Free and Public Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. Now to add this webhook URL, first we will go to the dashboard of our Cash Free account. And after reaching to the dashboard, on the right side, here we can see an option of switch to test. So by clicking on this, we will switch to the test environment of Cash Free. Now here we can make some test payment and try and test this automation as well. After all of this, from the left side, go to this developers section. Just click here and under payment gateway, just click on webhooks. Now you can see that here are several different events out of which we will click on payment forms because we are using payment forms in this video to collect the payment and then click on add webhook URL. Now here guys, in this dialog box, we have to paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So just click here and paste the webhook URL. And then click on this test and add button. Now as we click on test and add, a test response of a successful payment is sent to this webhook URL. And in our Pabli Connect workflow, here we can see that we have received some response. So in this response, we can see the details of a test payment which Cash Free has sent. So we have the status of this payment, then we have the mobile number of a dummy customer, name of a dummy customer, we have the email address of a dummy customer and other details as well. So in this way guys, by sending a test payment, we know that the connection between Cash Free and Pabli Connect is made successfully. Let's get back to Cash Free and click on this add button. Now after this guys, what we have to do, we have to basically make another test payment just for an example. So we will get back to Pabli Connect click on this recapture webhook response button over here. And now it is showing us waiting for webhook response, which means Public Connect is waiting to get some details or some data of a new payment from cash free. So here in our cash free account, we'll go back to our dashboard and under payment forms, you can see that I have created a payment form in my cash free account. I will just copy this payment from, from here, go to a new tab, paste the link of this payment form. And now here is a payment form. 
So using this form guys, I'm taking payments from my customers and I'm selling some kind of course, for example, a PHP course. So for PHP course, I'm getting this payment. Now guys, when we will enter the details of a user and make a test payment, the details of this payment will be captured inside Public Connect. So let's do this. Let's enter the name of a customer, for example, dummy name, a dummy email address, and then a dummy mobile number as well. So this is just a test mobile number, which cash free sent in the test response. Now let's click on pay securely. Now, because we are in the test environment here, we can see some test card details. Let's select this test card. Let's make a payment. Now let's enter this dummy OTP as well and simulate success because we want to make a successful payment in this test environment. That's why we have clicked on simulate success. And now we can see that we have successfully made a payment of 499 rupees over here with the details of this user named as dummy name. Now guys, in public connect, we will see that within few seconds, we are going to get this response. Let's wait for a few seconds over here to get the response. And yes, guys, here in response received, we can see some response of a successful payment, which we have received from cash free. So in this response, we can see the amount for which the user has made the payment. We have the mobile number, the name and the email address of the customer who made the payment. Then we have the title of the product that for what product the customer has actually made the payment. And also we have the URL of the payment form as well. So in this way, guys, we can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. And using this automation in the step one, we have successfully received the payment details from cash free inside public connect. Now let's move to step two and share the file with the user who made the payment using this automation. Let's set up that step. But first guys, we have to ensure that using this webhook URL, actually all the payment forms, which we have in our cash free account, it is going to capture the payment from all those payment forms inside public connect. So first we have to ensure that we only send this file or only share this file from our Google drive with the customers who actually send us the payment using this particular payment form or this particular payment URL. For that, we are going to add a condition, a filter in our automation workflow. And using that filter, we are going to ensure that the file is only shared with the customer who are making us the payment using this particular form. Now to add this filter, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, we will search for a feature of Fably Connect that is filter. Now after selecting filter over here in select label from the drop down, we can see that all the responses which we have received from cash free can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, guys, we have to select the response of data form URL. So this is the response of this form, this payment forms URL, just select this response and select label. Then the filter type will be equals to and in value, we have to actually paste the exact URL over here, what we have received in response. So here in response, we have to paste the exact URL using which we are getting this payment for this particular product. So here we have added the URL. And after that, just hit on save and send test request. Now guys, because the data which we have received from cash free for payment for, of a payment form URL and the URL which we have entered over here is exactly the same. That's why it is showing us the condition is true, which means in this scenario, this automation will be executed further. Now, after adding this condition, let's finally share the file with the user. For that, just click on this add action step button and here in choose app, search for Google Drive select Google Drive over here. After that, in action event from the drop down, select share file. So share a file. This is the action event using which we are going to share this file. Click on connect, select add new connection. And here we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pavli Connect. Now to make this connection, just click on this connect with Google Drive button, select your Google Drive account, scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection here in file ID, we can see a drop down below. And in this drop down, we can see a list of all the files which we have in our Google Drive account can be seen over here. So here in my Google Drive, I have a file of PHP course PDF. So this is the PDF course file which I am selling for which I'm getting the payment from my customer. And I want to share this file. So from the drop down below, just select the same file, which you want to share. Now, after that, here we have to enter the email address that on what email address we want to share this file. 
So we have received the email address of the customer from over here from cash free while receiving the payment details. And we are going to share the file on the same email address. What we have to do, we have to actually map the same response of email address from cash free over here in this Google Drive feed. Now how we are going to map this? So guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from the responses of cash free, we have to select the response of email address of the customer. Just select this response from the drop down and it will be mapped over here. So as you click on this field in the drop down below, you can see all the responses and out of all of these responses, you have to select the response of email address. Now after mapping the email address, it is asking us for the rule. So in the drop down below, we can see three different rules. First one is scan view, second one is scan edit and third one is scan comment. So I want to give the view permission to these users. So that's why I've selected can view. And after entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request here, now you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the file which we have selected over here is shared with this user on this email address. So let's check the email inbox of this email address. We will go to a new tab. Let's switch our Gmail account. Let's go to the Gmail inbox. And yes, guys, here we can see that we have received a PDF file on this users. So let's open this file and we will see this is the same course file which we had on our Google Drive. This means the automation which we have created is working perfectly fine. And now using this automation, guys, whenever a user will make a payment to us on cash free, automatically after receiving the payment, we can share a course file from our Google Drive with that user. So guys, after setting up this automation successfully, let's test this automation once in real time. So once again, what we are going to do, we are going to copy this payment forms link over here. We are going to the new tab and again, we are going to make a new payment over here. So this time let's enter the details or the name of the user as for example, test user. This is the name. Let's use the same email address once again just for the reference in this video and let's enter the same mobile number as well. Now, after entering these details, let's click on pay securely, use the test card, make the test payment, simulate success. Now we can see that just now we have received a new payment on our cash free account, the cash free payment form, which we have connected. And we will see as we receive the payment instantly, automatically, the file will be shared with the same user as an email from our Google Drive. So here guys on this user's Gmail account, the user can see that the file has been automatically shared once again. This means the automation workflow, which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we receive a new payment on our cash free account using this automation from our Google Drive, a file will be shared to the user. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.